Hey folks, I'm going to show you how and why the Raspberry Pi 3 Plus Compute Module is too expensive at $25. Back to the spreadsheet, here we go. So if you look at the Pi Compute Module, five of them will set you back yeah, 25 to 30 bucks for the uh, 4 gigabyte of eMMC on board, depending on who you buy it from. So let's just call it 30 the carrier board is $259. There's no SD cards because you have the eMMC. There's no drive uh, networking, so we don't need any uh, switch or anything. That's what the $18 is here. Power supply is 9 bucks. No fan. $2 for one Cat5 Ethernet cable. Total is $418. If we go to an Odroid HC1, which is actually a really nice device, and that you can plug a uh, HC1 is for a two and a half inch hard drive. You can plug a two and a half inch hard drive directly into that. HC2, you can plug a three and a half inch hard drive into. So five of those devices would be 250 bucks, so 100 bucks more than the initial investment. Uh, there's no carrier board because they're stackable. 25 bucks for SD cards, that's uh, 16 gigabyte SD cards. For no drives, just to do a no drive comparison, 18 bucks for a eight port ethernet switch, gigabit ethernet switch. 35 bucks for the five power supplies, a fan for $15, 11 bucks for cables, $354. So let's go on down the line. So here's an HC1 with five one terabyte drives, so same price here, no carrier board, same price, same price, all right, the drives, the five of them, now that's five drives at 43 bucks, I, I found one terabyte drives for 43 bucks online. Same price is all the way down the line, we get to it, it's $564. Now, if we do this, this is kind of the budget approach, so it's gonna be one five terabyte drive, so the only thing that's changing here is instead of 215 bucks for five one terabyte drives, it's 99 bucks for one five terabyte drive. So the price here, it's, well, about 90 bucks difference. So we got from 569 down to 453. I also wanted to take a look at the Odroid XU4. So it's a little bit more expensive. It's on sale right now, which I think is a freaking good deal. It's 51 bucks. Uh, so I, I was, it's like 51.95. So I was thinking about picking up one or two more of those. No carrier board. Same all the way down here. This is five one terabyte drives. Same going all the way down. It's 463. So I'm going to do a hard comparison of that shortly, uh, but when you look at it, 463 for 50 bucks over what you're paying for, a little 55 bucks over what you're paying for the Raspberry Pi, you're getting uh, 10 gigs of RAM, you're getting octa cores, really it's two quad cores, so two gigahertz versus 1.2 gigahertz and five one terabyte five one terabyte drives with gigabyte uh, gigabit ethernet so working our way down so slightly cheaper here and the, where we're going cheaper is we're doing one five terabyte drive 463 and going down the line let's take a look at the Rock 64 with one gigabyte. Now you can get it one, two, and four gigabyte. I don't do the two here. I just go from one to four on the jump. So the device is $125 for the one gigabyte version. Same pricing down the line. We're going to compare zero uh, hard drive to it. And really this is an apples to apples comparison. With the Rock 64 one gig, it's a very apples to apples comparison to the Raspberry Pi. So the Raspberry Pi would be $418 in comparison to the 229. And what you're getting here is the same gigabytes as far as RAM. It's five gigabytes of RAM, a 1.6 gigahertz quad core, but you're getting gigabit Ethernet. So that, that's a big deal. 
going down the line, so these are individual boards, there's no carriers, so same price, one gigabit, one, boy, one gigabyte, Rock 64, uh, with the SD card with one five terabyte hard drive. All the other numbers are the same. It's 328, which is still much better. So this is if you're concerned, it's, you, we, we haven't hit the comparison. Really, this is directly comparing very accurately to the Raspberry Pi cluster. Now, when we get to the Rock 64 with four gigabytes of RAM, so the, the price for uh, the five is $100 more. This is the zero drive comparing to, you know, no drive on the Raspberry Pi. It's still 329 compared to 418. So here is where I, I'm going to make a big comparison. So we've got the four gig with the one five terabyte drive and it's 428. So only 10 bucks more than the Raspberry Pi. And that's giving you 20 gigs of RAM. 1.6 gigs, uh, quad core with 1.6 gigs speed, and a five terabyte hard drive, one single five terabyte hard drive. You might want some sort of a case for this. So I'm not including tax and shipping in these prices. I'm trying to get as much detail as I possibly can. So the comparison, let, let me slide the chart over a little bit here. And you know, let me start on this side. So here's, I'm comparing all of the devices with no hard drives. So it's the Rock 64, one gigabyte of RAM, the Odroid HC1, which has two gigabytes of RAM, and the Rock 64 with four gigabytes of RAM. And basically it comes down to the Pi Compute is the most expensive, really because the carrier board is setting it off. If you want the Rock 64, that's $229. That's just about in the half price range. If you want the speed, the two gigahertz cores, 354 is a good price, good price for the HC1. And if you're really doing something you care about RAM, 329 is where you're gonna be. The most expensive way to go is when you have five individual one terabyte hard drives. So the drive costs, uh, this is a bare drive compared to uh, external drive. So it's a little bit more for the external drive, bare drive was a little cheaper. So when you look at the devices, device 250, 260, 125, 225. So the Rock 64 one gig is the cheapest as we move down the line, most of the expenses are the same. The total is $569 for the HC1. It's $629 for the Odroid XU4. $494, which is the cheapest of the bunch because it's the one terabyte Rock 64, and $594 for the Rock 64. The next comparison is almost all the same but we're doing with one five terabyte drive. So this, this is probably more cost effective. And what it gets you down to is, do you like RAM or do you like clock speed? So the Odroid HC1 is 453. The XU4 is 10 bucks more. The Rock 64 with one gig is 328. So pretty much bargain basement here. Whereas uh, the Rock 64 with four gigs of RAM is 428. So the Rock 64, as far as cost goes, the Odroids are a little bit higher in the price, but you're getting uh, the, the two gigahertz quad core. So it, it really comes down to do you want a cluster that has RAM, or do you want a cluster that has gigahertz processing speed? So let's look at the cost of this. So I'm just going to look at the cost per gigahertz on these devices. The first device is the Raspberry Pi. 
The second device is the Rock 64 at one gig, and then the Odroid HC1, which has two gigs of RAM, and then the Rock 64 at four gigs of RAM. So if we look at these devices, where the Raspberry Pi gives you five gigs, the first Rock 64 gives you five gigs, the HC1 gives you 10 gigs, the Rock 64 with four gigs of RAM on each board gives you 20 gigs. So if you're liking RAM, that's where you want to be. Now, on the EMMC, so I'm going to call it onboard storage. There is EMMC options for both the Pine and uh, the Odroid XU4, but not the HC1. So you have 20 gigs onboard storage compared to 80 for the other devices because I'm just counting SD card. Network speed, I believe, is about 600 megabit, where it's gigabit on the rest. Uh, the carrier board usually has some sort of USB. I'm going to say no for this, but you have one USB 3.0, two USB 2.0. On the HC1, you have one USB 2.0. And on the, again, the same for both the uh, Rock 64 from Pine, you have one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0. Now, you may have HDMI on the carrier board, depending on what carrier board you get. Uh, and actually, the one for 259 does look like you have HDMI. You have HDMI on the Rock 64, but not the Odroid HC1. The only thing, hmm, I'm not sure on the spec if you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I'm just going to say no to all of them. But let's look at dollar per gigahertz value here. This is where your Raspberry Pi is the most expensive thing per CPU cycle. It's $87. The next most expensive, and this is only because of RAM, it's the uh, Rock 64, which is 1.6 gigahertz compared to the Raspberry Pi's 1.2 gigahertz. Now, the powerhouse in the bunch is actually $44 per gigahertz, and that's the Odroid HC1, which is a 2 gigahertz uh octa-core, but it, the one quad-core runs at a time. So you get a 2 gigahertz quad-core at $44. That is your best value. Uh, unless you're... So the end comparison, one, Raspberry Pi is really good at certain things. It's a good foot in the door. It's a good, hey, let me learn how this stuff works. But if you want RAM and don't care about CPU, the Rock 64 from Pine is the way to go. If you want CPU and don't care as much about RAM, the Odroid series, whether that's the HC1 or the XU4 or the HC2, if you want a three and a half inch drive, is the way to go. I hope this was informative. If you have any further questions, just take a look below, add a comment. Um, I'm going to have links, pricing, and descriptions in the description section below for everything I talked about here. If you have any questions, like I said, uh, drop me a line. Follow me on this uh, YouTube channel. Go to flyingrich.com where you can contact me, send me an email or message. Guys, enjoy. Have a good day. I hope you understand. I do like the Raspberry Pi. I think it's a great introductory device. It's kind of, as I have said before, it's the Chevy 350. The Chevy 350 has always been like the cheapest engine to hot rod in your way to get into cars. Likewise, the Raspberry Pi as a single board device for $30, $35 is a great way to get into single board computing for support, but it wouldn't be my choice to do cluster computing with, and it definitely proves it out in price, CPU, and RAM. Have a good day, guys.